Hey, it's Dr. Shane. I'm back for another Friday five minute magic tip. Got a special guest going for me today. Dr. Meta is in the Atlanta area and going to talk about uh, DPC Alliance Mastermind 101 coming up next month, coming up real fast, like a yeah. month away. Yeah. So, real quick. Um, so, I want to have Dr. Meta on to talk and give us some information about this conference. Uh, about the the deep deep dive into DPC that we'll be taking over there in Atlanta area. So, uh, Anon, take it away. Give yeah. it a little introduction and what the mastermind means to you. You know, sure. give us a little background on how it helped you. Yeah, sure. So, um, as Shane said, I'm Dr. Anna Meta. I'm out of Stand Up Family Medicine. I'm in Marietta, Georgia. Uh, I started this practice in October of 2020, right in the heart of COVID. Um, and pretty much starting off, I didn't really have everything down pat. I would get a lot of things through Facebook, uh, groups or reading some books, including Shane's and trying to figure out how, how to best grow the practice and, um, masterminds that Shane had about three years ago, back in Greenville, South Carolina is the one I attended. And, uh, when I was there, I learned a lot about marketing, a lot about entrepreneurship, um, how to sort of build the practice as far as growth, uh, inner management regarding hires, um, and also how to retain patients. And it was a good stepping stone for me to grow. That time when I attended, I think I had a little under 100 patients. And then within a year, I grew over to 200, 220. So it, it, it exponentially helped grow my practice. Um, but it was good for me on a, on a more local level because uh, the, the way the masterminds are organized, there's smaller groups, usually about 10 to 20 physicians. And being in a smaller group, not only do you get to meet other peers that are in the DPC journey with you, whether they just started like me or whether they're thinking about starting or sometimes even a year into it. Uh, and it really gets you to get ideas, socialize, build a network with other doctors to try to build what your practice is, but gain ideas on how to do it on their level. Um, the host, including Shane, that were at the masterminds I attended, uh, not only on a person level would talk to you one on one, but in the group level, they would have a lot of lectures focused on a lot of the topics I described. And so me, after now being four years almost in practice, wanted to start doing the masterminds in Atlanta to try to give back to what I learned uh Shane also actually will be a host and 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 being a speaker there but uh we are excited to host another group of physicians who are early in their journey or just started their journey and get them tips and um ways to make their DPC practice better and so yeah it, it's going to be later in May we'll talk about more about it in a minute yeah let's go ahead and uh, mention like where it's going to be Sure. And, uh, when it'll be? We know it's May sometime, but I think they're they're usually Friday and Saturday all day. But give them a little bit about where and when, and maybe some of the schedule, some of the topics you guys might be covering. Yeah, yeah. So the dates are May seventeenth and eighteenth this year. So a little over a month from now, um, the time will be about eight thirty a.m. to five p.m. on both of those days, which is a Friday and Saturday. Uh, it's going to be at the Hyatt Place uh, at Cobb Galleria, which is a Hyatt that's near the Bray Stadium. And so we're going to be around a, a lot of local events, but also sort of right in the heart of a very busy part of Atlanta. And uh, we're hoping to have about 10 to 20 docs in attendance. And uh, topics that we're going to do kind of range all over. We're going to visit some DPC practices in the area, including the one I'm currently at, which is Standard Family Medicine. Um, after that, we're going to break for lunch and then have some lectures based on a lot of the topics I was kind of discussing before, including marketing, entrepreneurship, financing. I mean, really the ABCs of um, DPC and starting the clinic. We'll give out a pamphlet, or not a pamphlet, a sort of workbook that all the members will have in attendance. And we'll kind of go by a schedule that's been created years before and really helps get a checklist, a guideline of the items, basically regarding DPC practices and all those things I mentioned. And uh, again, you will meet a lot of us as speakers. We have about eight speakers in attendance, people including the both of us, but also Marielle Conception, who hosts my DPC story, Christina Springston, um, Dr. Michelle Cook, uh, Dr. Ann Gonzalez, um, 
Jeff Davenport, Kenneth Q. I mean, we have an all-star cast here uh, that is going to be amazing as far as teachers, lecturers, and also one-on-one -on -one interactions with anyone who attends. So it's going to be awesome. Sounds sounds like a, a big weekend's planned. So yes. Looking forward yes. to it, hanging out. So who tell tell folks Anon who who should come? Who who's this for? Who's this meeting? This sure. mastermind really for? So uh, anyone who's a physician, I'll start there. Um, anyone in the physician journey, whether you're a resident who's just getting into practice or graduating this this upcoming July, uh, if you're somebody who is in a corporate system, sort of uh, paying attention to direct primary care, but not ready to make the jump. Uh, people who are in the DPC journey, maybe you just got your practice, you're just about to put the shingle up, you're just about to open the doors, and you just want to have a little more footwork, a little more guide, groundwork going into it. Um, or people who are sort of early in their DPC journey, maybe you're struggling to get patients, maybe you're um, trying to understand how to get a better elevator pitch. Maybe you're trying to figure out what businesses to go after or what sort of individuals, how, how you should sort of get them through the door or even sustain current members that you have. Maybe you're having a lot of churn. Maybe you're having a lot of people who are leaving the practice. So basically I, I want anybody in the DPC journey more probably on a one-on-one -on -one level early on in their DPC journey or just about to start in order to get your groundwork better or your elevator pitch or your marketing or any of the topics we're going to discuss a little more concrete and that can help build your practice like it helped build mine. Very good, very good. And and tell um if you have it off the top of your head, how do people uh connect and find more information and even sign up? I'll put a link down in the the notes for the show today. So there'll be a link down there to the DPC Alliance. But I'm assuming that's the best way to connect and get signed up. Yeah, absolutely. So the website is dpcalliance.org backslash events. Um, you'll see Atlanta there. Now, a, a lot of people have been coming back to me saying that they can't register. I would instruct you that you have to register into the DPCA as a non-paying member. It doesn't cost anything to you. It's just so that we can keep it as a physician-based uh, conference. Um, and can we continue to keep it that way by doing that? And so you would have to register as a non-paying member on the DPC Alliance website. Once you do that, you'll have a link that opens up. Uh, for you to register and the registration costs 450. Uh, the registration um, includes your, your obviously the conference, the meals during the conference. Um, however, it does not include your hotel stay. There is a block rate that we have for 149 a night at the Hyatt, um, at the Hyatt place where the conference is being held uh, using the dpca.g conference code. Again, this will all be uh, sort of below where Shane posted. Um, and that will block you in uh, for those room rates and the room to open from the 16th to the 19th. So you can get there the day before on Thursday, have the room rate eligible for the 16th, 17th, 18th. If you want to leave the 18th, that's fine. If you want to spend an extra day in Atlanta and leave the 19th, that's great too. So that's really how you register. Registration is still open. Um, we're, again, planning about 10 to 20 docs in that range, and it's going to be amazing. Yep, and I hear it's filling up pretty fast. So absolutely, yes. I would yes. encourage people to go ahead and sign up and and get ready, to make your plans to come and hang out. And um, if there's any last minute uh, openings, um, we'll we'll definitely take people the last minute if we have to. Sure. So Atlanta's pretty accessible; can drive from pretty um, from three or four states. You can get to Atlanta pretty easy. Yep. And again, major airport, obviously a lot of flights coming in. Delta's hub is here. So Atlanta's easy to get to. And I'm really hoping to see a lot of you guys. If you're interested, you know, you can uh, email me at dr.meta at standupdpc.com. If you um, want to reach out to Shane, he can also get your information to me and probably answer some questions on his end. And we're looking forward to seeing everybody here. It's going to be an amazing conference and we'll get to know each other even better. Sounds good. Hey, thanks for joining us today and my special guest, Dr. Mehta from Atlanta. Just wanted to uh, keep the DPC magic going. Yes. To share this information with you guys. So check into that. If maybe you know a friend or somebody, just let them know about this conference. And if you can't do Atlanta, there are other conferences uh, in the fall. There'll be some more conferences in the Mastermind 101, I think in Wisconsin and Utah area That's in, right. in the fall. So uh, don't wait around. I'd go ahead and do Atlanta if you can. Just yeah. get you know get the information going.
Yeah. Otherwise, and one, one more thing I'll add. Uh, register quickly. The, the room block does go away at the end of the month. I'll do my best to extend it, but I don't have power over what Hyatt wants to do. So if you can get in, please register into those hotel rooms so that you can secure that room block and not have an issue getting to the conference on time or have any issues with where to stay. That's good information. Hey, you guys have a great weekend. We'll be seeing you guys soon out there on the DPC trail. Otherwise, keep the DPC magic going. Absolutely. Go DPC. Thanks, Shane. Appreciate it.